Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 84 of Scion of the Dark House, a Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition gothic horror podcast. Because this is gothic horror, there may be some things that come up to align for some people. Uh, talk about abuse and trauma, violence, blood, gore, body horror, child endangerment, and other such things. If anything comes up to a line for you, please take a break. Your support means a lot to us, but so does your mental health. So last we left off, the party had just left after fighting a bunch of scarecrows in a strange, tiny little nighttime glen. Upon walking down the road, they found a strange camp with a set of armor. Trying to figure out who it was, they found they were not smelling humanoid at all. That was when a strange horse person covered in scales came out of the water. Alex, instantly smitten, decided to make contact with the horse creature. And the group ended up having a short conversation where he introduced himself to be Lachlan. He pointed them in the correct direction to Swan Lake switched a charm of sticks resistance for a charm of dark vision and gave alex the ability to cast sending to him three times because reasons and then promptly left the group made their way into the domain of the swan princess to find a lovely arcadian twilight landscape where harp music played from on high and swans were plentiful amongst curling and coiling cypress trees and beautiful little um, buildings along the side of a very large lake at the center of which was a willow tree on an island. The Swan Princess appeared, delighted to be able to help mortals, until she spotted Lark and demanded the group make a deal with her. The group settled on killing the ruler of the domain they are trying to get to, named King Rothbart, who apparently has locked himself in his castle and hasn't been seen for quite some time. Lark then teased the Swan Princess, about the Seely Court not helping mortals, and the Unseely Court being the only ones to come to their aid. Before hopping on the swans, she magically conjured and flying off to the domain of King Rothbart. Upon landing, they found a beautiful garden and a hedge maze, of which they went through and found statues of people they did not know and yet were familiar. Each one bore an animal of some kind, connected to them magically. And at last, the final two statues were of Arthur and Lucky, with their respective animals. Upon reaching the center of the hedge maze, the group regrouped, where they discussed what they had found. And Lark gazed into a puddle to find he had turned ugly, covered in boils and burns, eyes glowing red, ugly on the outside, before it went away in the blink of an eye. And we start here at the center of the hedge maze, as you all are simply standing around, trying to figure out what exactly to do next. <sighs> Lark's just grabbing his face real quickly. You don't feel anything aside from what your skin normally feels like. I'm just gonna like fly down and be like, Arthur. You're on mute. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Cause I was like doing a stammer like that whole time. Like Arthur's oh. <laughs> got like a speechless thing going on. Like I... I there were. were speechless. Why, why, why are there? I don't. He's we have more lost. pressing matters. I'm just gonna grab your face and be like, "What do I look like?" <laughs> uh, a scary fairy man. Scary angry fairy man. Can I? Are we still by the statues? 
I'm going to say that you you know the root somewhat. It's pretty much, it's not so much a hedge maze as it was a labyrinth that forced you to go to each and every statue. So if you want to run back to the statues, you can, but you are in the center where there's that spiraling ribbon of light obelisk with the star at the top. Oh, we've reached this. Right, center. right. Okay, never mind. And the big staircase why, leading up to why, the castle, right? Yes. Why are you yelling? I'm beautiful, right? I mean, I don't know if I would say that. I say <laughs> so. I look the same. Correct. You look uh, like yeah, a same human. as you ever done. If that's oh, what thank the queen. I like yeah. in that pool of water, and I looked as hideous as one of you would. Oh, maybe it shows what you look like on the inside. Oh, which uh, which pool was that? I'll just like gesture towards one of the pools of water. I kind of go. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna look in the pool of water. You Why would you put the, your look in the pool of water? You you look the same. That's what you think you look like. I still have the purple, right? Purple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hi. Still purple. All good. Hey, I don't know what you're on about. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay. So Lark's having mental breakdown. That's cool. Don't... Are we supposed to go through this spiral thing? I, as I understand, is it just like a statue? It's just an obelisk. Uh, yeah. Basically, it's ethereal. It's made of a ribbon of light that's spiraling up around what would presumably in the center be an obelisk. With the the star at the top, it's just kind of a centerpiece of a nice little garden green space in the center of this um, sort of circle at the center of the hedge labyrinth. The staircase is directly ahead. Is it like? Is there any? That's like, the staircase up to the castle. Mm -hmm. Writing on the obelisk or something? Is there any, like, no, it's just made of light. Just light. Cool. Yep, it's just made of light. And then the staircase leads up. All right. Okay. So do we think our Best bet is the front door. Like, let's not forget why we're here. Or I, I mean, how do you would you try the front door? I, I, it was sarcasm. I don't think the best option is the front door. I. Oh. We do can you know knock of any other door on the front door. Is that another door we could try? We can blast through it. There's I I, do... this pillar of light. We can fly up. I well, he can fly up, and I point to Lark. But um, yeah, sure. You want to give us a bird's eye view or something? Well, wait. I'm gonna. Can I like touch the light and see if it just my hand passes through it, or is it like solid? Yeah, your hand passes through it. Okay. It feels almost like passing your hand through mist although when you pull your hand away there's no wetness on it and there's something at the top of this light yes scene? there's what appears to be a star i guess i'll fly up towards it okay what are you what are you planning on doing with it i don't know just like Oh, it's a star. Uh, checking it out, seeing if there's anything weird, if there's like a fetus floating in it. <laughs> With rings going around it. Just, I mean, rings. Just uh, like, you know, in Death Stranding, just a little baby <laughs> bottle. <laughs> like... um, I mean, if you want to roll perception or investigation, I guess I'll, I'll let you. It seems like pretty much a normal, just like what you think a star would look like up close. Uh, so that's a 19. If it's perception. If it's investigation, it's a flat 15. I mean, either one you choose. Okay. Right. Perception. Is there anything weird about this star other than it's the star that I can fly by? Looking at it, you would think it was... From the ground, you might say it's probably an orb with light coming off of it that's creating the points. But as you fly closer and look at it, there is an ethereal crystalline shape to it. 
that the light lancing off of it comes from each of the the points on this physical star, but it also has this haze to it and shimmer to it that it's probably ethereal like the obelisk itself. It's probably your hand would pass through it. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, fly back down and be like, oh, it's just ghost ethereal star. It's fine. Nothing in what it. exactly were you hoping for? I don't know. Something fascinating. A large diamond. Hmm. <clears throat> now that would be nice. Right? Actually get something out of this whole ooh, my mother's a fey person thing. How are you not getting nothing out of it? Uh no? Oh. <clears throat> Can I Why? use uh, um oh. um Is there like a did you say there's a door on this obelisk? No, like no there is not. The door is the castle or the staircase. Yeah, like I, I, mis- I misconstrued the on. obelisk as having a way up myself, which is why I just uh, flew up to the top. No, oh, it's it's it an obelisk. Up. If anything, it's like maybe like two feet in like diameter. And can you can you see any other ways to get into the castle from up there? Uh oh, sure. Can I see if I can scout any? Decent spots to get into the castle. Uh, sure. Give me perception. <sighs> yeah, that's only an eleven. It looks to be at the top of a sort of um tower of rock, not very tall, but you know, raised up enough that a staircase needs to go up to it. The wall, there's probably about maybe two feet at the widest point of earth between the wall and just off the edge. And surrounding it in its entirety, and even climbing up the walls, are thick brambles. There seems to only be one entrance that's easily accessible. There might be a door at the other sort of four, I guess, cardinal directions, if you're counting the door that you can see as, like, south. There might be, but there's no staircase leading to them. They're not easily accessible. Hmm. Uh, unless the rest of you decide to spontaneously grow wings, I think that's the only way forward. Fabulous. Hey, are we are there? Fucking fabulous. We can okay. Uh, I I mean I don't know about you, but I definitely can't. I mean, between me and Alex, we have five spells. I mean, yeah, so waste a bunch of magic flying us up to the top of the castle for maybe oh, there's shit. a hatch in the roof. Is there like towers in the castle and stuff like oh, that? Oh yeah, there's there's towers like and castle-y. spires and it's very yes. castle-y. So I guess um, I'd be like, uh, but it's got to be away from inside from the top because there's towers and parapets and whatnot. Sorry, I just I lost the connection with the uh, with Alex's character sheet uh oh oh that's okay I have it here somewhere too oh yeah and I can make fly happen too (sighs) he said he didn't see any other way in would you like to fly up yourself and look yeah I'm fine with the front door you're the one who didn't want to go in the front door and why are you Oh I am trying to play Kate you Arthur. In Halfling, Arthur is just going to say to Jasmine, like, Ugh, come on, let's let's go. I've had enough of this. She's gonna like stroke her head and like start walking towards the stairs. All right. I follow. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Of course you do. <laughs> Flipping to another section of a book. Uh, anybody Must else you following? pluck that thing everywhere you go? I'm going to follow, but I'm going to be like 35, 40 feet above everybody in the air. Because I have no illusions at this point that somebody doesn't know we're here yet. Right. 
All right. I mean, especially with Lucky making all of that racket. It's not that bad. There's this thing called the element of Supreme. You know we're in the realm of an archfey. They know when you come in. They know when you leave. They know that we're here. Are they a Okay, but well, still. It depends on how powerful said archfey is, If how omniscient they are in their own domain. We're sneaking. See? The teacup sneaking. princess wasn't powerful enough to know that the harlequin is stealing into hers. Um, I mean, I'm she going... was the teacup princess, so... As as Arthur is like wondering why I'm playing, I'm just gonna start playing dum 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 dum. <laughs> Sneaking music. Sneaking God music. Damn it. The Arthur thinking music. Okay, well, I'm going so to as try. you move forward as, or upward, wherever it is. As you all ascend this staircase, uh, you find that there are very large banks of this sort of um, thorny vine that have slumped over the um, the staircase. And as you get close to it, you watch as the vine slowly begins to slither towards you, but not fast enough to actually like grab you or anything. You're able to get away from it pretty quickly. Um, but it's clear that this vine is moving and surrounding this castle, although what the source of it is, you are not aware. Mm. As you reach the top, there is a strange sort of entrance place. It is a round, almost a uh, rotunda, where there is a door and a colonnade and a broken dome over the top of it where moonlight comes through. The door on the other side is, it depicts elves and other fae frolicking and playing in the woods along with various stars and a moon. Um, and next to this door is the statue of a lion. The other statue seems to be entirely missing. Whether it was knocked out or was never there, it's unclear. But as you approach, you get the sense that the statue is not just a statue. There's something about the way that the statue is sitting that conveys something more. And that's what you see as you approach the castle. Can I do an arcana check? Uh, sure. On the statue, I guess. Uh, da -da 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 -da, 17. 17? All right. You've seen in the Feywild statues next to doors a lot. Oftentimes these statues are enchanted in some way. You've seen ones that come to life and attack people, that speak with people, that um, cast spells. There's various things that these statues do, but the way that it's sitting, it gives off that sort of energy that it's definitely put there to do something. It is a living statue of some description. Is there like a color associated? Like, because I know the magics have like colors associated with them. Is, like, does it... No, not. No. There's no, you know, color coming off of this thing. It is the same color as the rest of the stone around. But it's very clearly somewhat alive. <clears> hmm. <throat> Hi, so... Uh, anybody else getting weird vibes off of that thing? I'm getting weird vibes off of that thing, indeed. Uh, what, what do, what do, what can do I, do can I use that? my thingamajig? Your thingamajig. <laughs> what is a thingamajig? Are you talking about detect magic? Yeah, um, identify is what I want. Oh, identify. identify. You have to touch it, it takes, it takes if like you want to minutes, identify right? it. Yeah, you have to touch it, and it does take a minute to cast. Oh, unless okay. you do it as a ritual, in which case it takes 11 minutes. Okay, let's just identify it, because I don't want to touch it. That's the one where you have to touch you it. You do have to touch it. I mean, it. detect magic. Fuck detect me. magic. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, this thing has... <laughs> this thing has uh, transmutation magic coming off of it. But also, you see the magic swirl off of it and 
loop back and come towards the door where the door, at least in the lower half of it, there is a section of it that's covered in necromantic magic. And this necromantic magic comes out and they seem to form some kind of a complicated arcane knot of some kind where the two meet. And you can see trans, um, yeah, transmutation magic transform into necromancy and then go into the door. What? <laughs> this is weird. There's like two types of magic used between that door and this statue. So I feel like magic? we can't just open. There's necroman necromancy on the door and there's transmutation on the statue. So if we open that door, this thing might... I would also say that the door also has some abjuration magic. Sorry, I just remembered that. The door has some abjuration magic and there is some abjuration magic around the knot where uh, transmutation magic becomes necromancy. Okay, well, it's weird because there's three types of magic on it, actually. Delayed sight, it's fine. <laughs> Your eyes were adjusting. Because, because of reasons. Yes. Because of reasons, there's three types of magic between this statue and that door and around that, the, the two... Uh, uh, fuck me. <laughs> It sounds very complicated. Okay, okay, there's a lot of complicated magic on the damn door. I get it. May I'm gonna I... call down in Sylvan. Hey, statue! Are you alive? And you watch as it moves into clearly a more comfortable position for it. It, it kind of moves its head as if it's cracking its neck. Its jaw swings back and forth as it seems to be warming up, and it goes, Yes. I am alive. Are you going to attack us? Is he, is he talking common to me or Sylvan? No, it's Sylvan, right? Let's I just say yes, Sylvan. it would be Sylvan. If you yeah. talk to it in Sylvan, it would speak in Sylvan. Can I ask it in Sylvan? What happened to your friend? By pointing to the empty statue. What? He was useless. And so he was removed. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, he's like just rehired somewhere. I believe he was given as a gift to another oh. archfey. Oh, that's fine. Okay, fine. And what exactly sort of job do the two of you have? We guard the door. We hold it open, but King Rothbart has commanded it remain closed. But uh, what did? at all possible. Great. Um, so do you have a name statue? No. Oh, I was not given one. A great statue. Uh, would it be at all possible to see King Rathbart? It is possible. <clears throat> I have been permitted to open the door for one thing only. If you answer three riddles. Oh. Um, in common. I'm just going to be like, hi, it's easy. We just got to answer three riddles and we're going to get right in. Bye. Oh, we're fucked. Nice. At this point, the statue switches to common. Apparently, it can speak common as well. And it says, <laughs> yes. But you cannot answer them by speaking the answer. You must show me the answer. My ears deceive me in this realm. King Rothbart is one for illusions. You must show me the answer. Um, uh, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? I guess it depends on the answer to the riddles. So, like, if what hypothetically, dear statue, oh, great statue, I'm hypothetically, if one of the answers to the riddle was like a chicken, do we have to like bring you a chicken? Perhaps there are Wait. other ways. Would could we cast minor on? illusion to make a chicken appear in front of his face? Yes. That would work awesome. as well. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And at this point, the statue just simply turns on its plinth and reaches out to a column that's very close to it. And with a claw, it draws a very rudimentary chicken with its claw. That would also suffice. Yeah. Okay. However, 
I will give you this for free. None of the answers to my riddle is a chicken. I, I kind of was this. hoping that one of them would be a chicken. Or it'd be a bad one. Like, why did it cross the road? I also above like I also love the fact that now in this like fey realm on a column is a scratched out rudimentary chicken drawing. <laughs> like Yep. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Uh, okay. All right. So what are the what are what are the riddles? I shall give you them one at a time. Oh, would you great. like to answer them and then go on to the next one, or would you like all three? <laughs> sequentially? What's... Sequentially sounds good. Yeah, let's build the suspense a little bit. Why not? We're all going to die. Let's do sequentially. What oh, happens wait, 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 we get them you. raw? Yeah, that's what I was about to ask that. Then you simply cannot enter. Now, if we don't get... Is it all... So we can keep trying to answer them correctly? Yes, you may. Okay. Infinite tracks. That's good, right? Wow, well, we're I, I guess. In this. Yeah. All right. Yep. Let's do this. <clears throat> ding, 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 ding. So you see the lion stands up straight, kind of becomes, a, assumes a bit more of a proud stance and holds up a paw, but you see him put one finger down so that there's three. Um... <clears throat> That's and cute. the first, the wind that fuels both poem and song, that has carried neither leaf nor snow, a weapon for both right and wrong, yet has never laid a mountain low. From within every man and every beast, by the heart and from the soul, until the end arrives and their lives do cease, and they sink beneath the earthy know. Okay, above game, I totally know this one, but Arthur's retarded. He definitely is not going to be any help. I, uh, I don't know what it is. Oh, I is got it. it. Second line. Second line? Yep. We'll see. Second line. The wind, I'm... the wind, the wind, the wind that I... I, I, feel like, I feel like it's... Words. You want me, want me to? Just, I'll just read it in like a normal person voice instead of trying to be the <laughs> statue. I'll I'll do that for all of the riddles because role play, but also we're going to assume that you riddles. as characters would understand it. The wind that fuels both poem and song that has carried neither leaf nor snow, a weapon yeah. for both right and wrong, yet it has never laid a mountain low. From within every man and every beast by the heart and from the soul until the end arrives and their lives do cease and they sink beneath the earthy knoll. Yeah, it's a voice that like... It does sound like words from the heart, you know. Spoken words, yeah. Hey. I think uh, Lark got it. What? What did Lark play? It's someone's voice. Oh, so it's a voice or words? Uh, yeah, voice. I guess it's a voice. It's a good voice. Is mm, it voice? Well, we have to show it to him. Oh, oh, show it. How do you show a voice, though? Um, oh, can I just go oh. in front of the statue and go, Is it a voice? <laughs> the statue kind of cocks its head a little bit, but the three fingers remain up. Mm. Sure um. Oh, okay. I got an idea. I'm gonna take the tip of my bow and draw in the sand or dirt or rock or whatever. <laughs> all very different substrates. <laughs> Some substrate on the ground, like whatever. whatever. Take. I got a dagger. We'll do. We'll say it's a dagger, and if it's stone, I'm scratching in the stone. Um. And do like I don't know a little person's face with the talky lines. <laughs> the lion sort of looks at at it and <laughs> goes, "Your name for it is wrong, but it seems you have the answer." 
Down goes yeah, one. Yeah, I got one. The second. A thing with no beginning and no end, where all things lie within or without, of which ink, rope, and gold all attend, and eternity itself bows devout, penned with love and hate all the same, to bind and release both blood and coin, created for forever to contain, to both separate and conjoin. Would you like me to read it again in a normal person voice? Yeah. yeah oh, please. Okay. Yeah. okay. A thing with no beginning and no end, where all things lie within or without, of which ink, rope, and gold all attend, and eternity itself bows devout, penned with love and with hate all the same, to bind and release both blood and coin, created for forever to contain, to both separate and conjoin. I, I, I'm going to go to Lark and be like, Lark, can you make an hourglass and something yeah. time-related? I feel like Fine it's an illusion. It's an hourglass. The lion cocks its head, but its two fingers remain up. I'm two for two. I'm zero for two. Boy, I'm horrible at this. <laughs> hmm. So it's not time. What could it be? Not time. No beginning, no end. To contain and to separate. The world is round. It's spheres. They don't have a beginning or end. You know, I... Uh... The answer to the riddle couldn't be in the riddle itself, could it? What are you taking? I'm like too scatterbrained for this. Uh... I'm gonna... <laughs> like, he's gonna go over to Alex and be like, Can I borrow some of that coffee you have? <laughs> And I'm just gonna say, no, it's mine. Oh, you're offered it's an it. infinite. It's infinite coffee. But it's his infinite coffee. It's he his infinite share. coffee. He absolutely Alex does not share his infinite coffee. He offered it before. I feel so hurt. <laughs> Wounded, even. Okay. You, one more time. Yeah. One yeah. more time. Normal person. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. please. Okay. A thing with no beginning and no end, where all things lie within or without, of which ink, rope, and gold all attend, and eternity itself bows devout, penned with love and hate all the same, to bind and release both blood and coin, created for forever to contain, to both separate and conjoin. Lark's gonna minor allusion to people kissing? The lion cocks its head, but the two fingers remain up. Could you have minor illusion the two people kissing, but like, make them marriage-y? <laughs> <laughs> marriage <-y, laughs> two people kissing. And we'll make them lion-faced, too. Make it a little spicy. Make it Nala and Simba doing the... Can you... And then play Can You the Feel grass. Oh, Tonight. Um... Lucky. The lion's two fingers remain up as it very visibly begins to frown. <laughs> it was not love, not marriage, not time. Whatever things don't have no beginning or end. A loop. <laughs> like a loop of rope, yeah. No. No, yeah, no. Fate. Okay, this is where we actually How meet you... Alex. Because he would just have spontaneously he is the best at riddles out of our group and I don't understand I why. know, that is weird. Because you wouldn't think Alex would be good at riddles. Us, but he's the best at the riddles. Who? Hmm. Alex, Alex is the best at riddles. Oh, I'll text him. <laughs> <laughs> just text him. We need help with a riddle. Okay, I'll text him right now. Okay. If you want to. Qu uh, we need with help no with... Uh, uh, no what? So it has no beginning and no end. And without. Which Is it weird? Okay, I was questioning. Just like and jump. rope and Roll. gold attend. Could I do like a history? Or something? A history check? Yeah. <laughs> um, to get a hint? Not the answer, uh, but maybe like a hint as a player? Um, 
Uh, I feel like it's cheating us. Sort of. I'm gonna say that um, the, you be... you live on you live and die on your own intelligence on this one. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, my character has an 18 intelligence, and I've got like a six. So. <sighs> I oh my god I don't I don't I you know what I am going to give you a little bit of a hint you are making this far too complicated I is that Say it hint? another is time it? One, one another more time. time another time yeah. now that I've given you that hint woo okay Wait, is it is is it not time the lion does not seem to agree it's not time it's not marriage it it's not love a clock? okay one one more time one more time. A thing with no beginning and no end, where all things lie within or without, of which ink, rope, and gold all attend, and eternity and eternity itself bows devout, penned with love and hate all the same, to bind and release both blood and coin, created for forever to contain, to both separate and conjoin. Is something written down? A circle! It's got to be written down somewhere. It's got to be something a circle. written down. Do what, can I scratch oh, cool. a circle? I just want you to scratch mad. a circle. Can I hold up my book? Circle. The lion looks to the circle scratched on the ground and a single finger goes down. I... Yeah! <laughs> two for two for the idiot! <laughs> God I'm it. sorry for everybody who had to see me put my very inflexible leg up in the air. <laughs> I'm I'm finding this so much fun of like trying you all trying to figure out these riddles. Um so Yay! And now the final one. Rory can stop saying it because it hasn't it hasn't answered any of this any of <laughs> Percy is still mm -hmm. shocked in the back. <laughs> um the final riddle. A seal with no wax nor string to bind together things unseen. A thing of which all poets sing. A symbol of passion, old and green. A gentle touch between a pair, parent, child, and lover too. An ode to an oath, a silent prayer, till death is eternally due. So I'm, we I'm going to fly down and just do the who thing. Who wants to demonstrate with me? Hi, Hood. I'm gonna, oh, gonna I'll just gay. like lay one on Lucky real quick. As you, the lion simply puts down a finger and puts the paw back on the ground. Well, it seems you have passed my riddles. I did not think you were going to. That second one threw you for a bit of a loop. Hey, hey, hey. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's funny. And hey, so then the lion. <laughs> The lion turns and makes a motion with its hand, and you watch this dark pool spread across the bottom of the door, filled with stars, and ghostly hands all appear, curve over the door, and then they push the door inward with a sort of I loud creaking don't like that. before the arms all vanish and the dark stain disappears. Rarick, if you still have uh, your um, detect magic up, when the lion made its emotion with its hand, magic traveled from the lion down to the knot. The abjuration magic briefly disappeared into the knot. The necromancy magic flared, and then as the door opened, the knot had its abjuration energy reform around it, and you saw the necromancy magic diminish significantly before going back to its normal state as the door then <laughs> sticks open. <clears throat> yeah. Well, that biting. Thank you very much, um, Mr. Satchel. It nods, but doesn't really say anything. Could you tell us how long has it been since you've seen the lady of the house? I don't quite remember the last time I'd seen her. Hey, hmm. another question, too. Um, if you were to put a mood on King Roderick, what mood would you say he 
Ayan. Alarmed. Alarmed. Excellent. Well, let's go murder this prick and steal a shit. I was <clears> gonna <throat> say, don't say that with an earshot of the person trying to defend his doorway, but you know, that shit is sailed. Surprisingly, yeah. the statue says nothing. It just watches you walk in. I don't, don't think he's too much. meant to attack people. I think he's just supposed to give that those riddles. I, I want to, like, huddle everybody up as we're walking in. I imagine it's dark. I want to huddle everyone up and be like, before we kill King Roderick, can we keep him alive long enough for me to ask a few questions? You know. Percy can do that little really thing. Close. I don't like the touch <laughs> and, and Percy can do that little thing where if it's a few seconds dead, he can still. I mean, it's very yeah. bold of all of you to assume it's going to be that easy to kill this King Rothbard. I understand, mm. so, but I just say I would like to get a few answers from him before, you know. We... Listen, <clears throat> we've had experience with trying to get answers from crazy people, and we always end up killing them anyway. I yeah. am. Um, well, I wasn't there. <laughs> I'm just saying, they never tell you what you want to know, and you it doesn't oh, matter how nice Spanish you try to be. Crazy? They no always end Spanish up dead. Crazy. He's a how much guy. is your charisma? My, my, Pretty uh, sure, like, above three game. separate people. Above game, my charisma's 20. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, um, but, uh, oh, also, uh, in, in this huddle, I'm gonna, like, pointedly look at Lark and be like, it wasn't the worst I've ever had in my entire life, but please don't just kiss me randomly again. Oh, yeah. I asked for volunteers. I didn't have quite all the information of what you're volunteering for. Uh, yeah, I uh, uh, even I, I knew what he was... Well, I do know him, so... I don't know him as well as you do. Yeah, apparently not. Oh. Hopefully you don't die anytime soon. Bye, you're anyway. the last person I kissed before I died. And I wouldn't be sad about it. I'm the last person a lot of boys and other folks kiss before they die. But that's well, not that's enough thing. about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. I'm, gonna giggle I'm gonna keen smell. <laughs> uh, sure. Which um, will be my first roll, roll tonight. I actually need to get my thing out. Oh, can can chamomile assist with the king's with the keen smell because she also has keen smell. Yes. <laughs> Yay! Assistance. Do I have oh, an idea of how this fan looks finished. like? Yay! Above ten. Of what? Do I have an idea of how this guy looks like? King Rothbart? No, you have no idea. Okay. I'll be right back. I just have to. Use Here we brush. go. Oh shit, I clicked on the wrong character. You know what, it's fine. I'm just going to roll two d20s. There we go. Okay, uh, 19 for Keen Smell. 19? Yes, sir. Alright. Uh, so as you sniff the air, you find there's a strange lack of living things that are not plants. You smell a lot of plants, but you don't smell people, which is strange because this is a large castle and there should be a lot of staff that you can smell, but there's not. That's a bit weird. Um, I'll, I'll wait till... Yeah, get... There's nobody here. What do we see as we walk in? Okay. Did I... I cut out, didn't I? Oh, yep, I see your internet connection is unstable. Oh, joy. Anyway, we so as that. you... Okay, great. So as you walk in, you actually walk into a short sort of corridor, and then there is a courtyard. A very large courtyard with what appears to be a willow tree in the middle of this courtyard. Um, there are plenty of doors all around the place, but most of them are very small the one across the way is very large and very ornate. Once again, made to look like elves frolicking in the moonlight forest. You do, however, as you walk around in this courtyard, you see a bunch of weird objects just everywhere. Candelabras, chests, 
um, end tables, chairs, cups, jars, jugs. They're all made out of the same thing. They all appear to be made out of some kind of moonstone. And while they look completely smooth from a distance, as you get closer to them, there's some faceting that happens on them. They do have some like edges to them where there is um, sort of reflects the moonlight with a little bit of iridescence. But these objects are just all over the courtyard. Uh, do you think somebody decided to do some redecorating? I investigate an object. All right, roll investigation. Yes, my best skill. Wait, is my detect magic still up? Let me see. 10 minutes? Uh, Did it take us 10 minutes? No. 29. Probably not. Uh, hmm. I'm going to say that all of the objects have some transmutation magic on them, but the transmutation magic has been fading for quite some time. Um, you pick up just a random object, let's just say it's a, like a jewelry box, um, and you're kind of looking at it, the lid functions, there's nothing in it. It's empty. It's a very nice looking jewelry box, but it's made completely out of moonstone. So would I know what moonstone is? Yeah, you probably would. It's it's actually quite a common sort of gemstone in the Feywild due to the Feywild having having connections to the moon, especially with its changes. Moonstone shows up a lot in the Feywild. It's practically like quartz in the Feywild. Okay. It's that common. Hi. Okay. Uh, they seem to be... Yeah. I really like the magic. They seem to have fading magic. Um, well, I mean, we are in the Feywild. The, the whole point of the place is it's saturated. One wouldn't think so. Lark's gonna just real quick <clears throat> off Intellect Fortress mm -hmm. on itself. <clears throat> um, let me see. How many people can I target with it? Intellect Fortress. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, intellect fortress on me and Arthur and who else? I don't know. Me, Arthur, and I guess probably Percy. I'll use a fifth level spell slot. I'm gonna extend an intellect fortress on the three of us. Okay, so I'm how long does that last now? Since I'm extending it, it's going to last the next two hours. We'll have advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws, and resistance to any psychic damage. Sounds good. Sweet. Yeah. Um, perception check, take a peek around, see what else we see in the courtyard here. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, give me a perception check. Save. Perception. Cool. 22. Actually, uh -huh. can I do an investigation check on the um the items? I just did. Is that all you did? Yeah, I got a mm -hmm. twenty nine, and it's just a moonstone box. Baba do bop, and then I did the magic thing. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, so we're just in the room in the courtyard, a bunch of random items. Yep. Is there a way forward? Or... Yes, there is a very large uh, double door, similar to the door that you came through. Is there lighting? Um, or is it... Uh, moonlight. Moonlight, okay. Plenty of moonlight. And of course, the moonlight is reflecting off of the moonstone of these objects, so the courtyard is lit even more. Oh, it's shiny. Um, yeah, but there is a door, a silver door, on the other side of the courtyard that seems to lead into somewhere. I'm gonna walk up to that. Uh, that way? Yeah. Might as well. I really want to take one of the items. It's but... okay. nothing fancy. It looks shinier than it really was worth. It's fairly common. No, it's okay. Let's go. <laughs> Um, at the silver oh, door, um, can I push on it a little bit? See if it opens. Um, the door is actually um, already slightly ajar. Oh. 
So as you push it open, it's, it does uh, swing open. And inside is a short, once again, it's, it's longer than the entrance to the um, courtyard, but it's still a short corridor to a fantastic looking foyer, receiving room, whatever. You get the sense that a lot of guests would come through here. Um, and as you enter, sorry, fiddling with books for no particular reason, um, you see a, a very sort of strange sight floating in the air as if they're on a curved wall are seven mirrors. The one in the center is the largest, stretching probably about 10 feet tall. There are two on either side with one beneath them. Both the bottom ones are um, kind of wider than they are tall and kind of nicely fit underneath the two that are more rectangular. Um, they have different frames, different shapes, slightly different sizes. They're all completely differently decorated, but they're all purely silver mirrors. And they're all floating just in the middle of the room. Oh. Additionally, on the walls, there are a few paintings of various people. Uh, go look at the paintings. I feel like I, I'm having PTSD from all the painting things. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. I must uh, say, you must not like um, art. No, we we get we um, get to fight uh, some things at some point in a painting. In a painting, every time we see a painting, it's either like a monster or some kind of portal or another dimension, or it just um, tries to eat us. Quite, have you not just been around a painting? <laughs> it's just like it's so weird. No. It's what? Just... Um. Shoot, I should I should have mentioned that probably my detect magic was cast through concentration. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I would say it probably is gone down right about now. You investigated the courtyard for quite some time, and you also took quite yeah. some time solving the riddles. Um, <laughs> so I would say it's down. I got that at a time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well... What's on them painting? So you see quite a few um, sort of, they're various sort of paintings. They're all landscape, beautiful twilight landscapes of wooded forests and lakes with very pale figures of elves running through them. Um, as you get close to one, Arthur, do you do anything to the painting or do you just stand there? Uh, Arthur's Arthur. I'm not gonna say he's gonna touch it, but he probably like reaches out, like looking at you know, kind of almost touchy. All right. Uh, do do do. I'm checking something. Okie doke. Um. All right. Okay. You begin to hear strange whispers coming from the painting, from within the forest, as you see the paint begin to shift and move ever so slightly. And I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, cool. But advantage because intellect portraits. Right. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Um, wait, where is it here? Yes, there it is. Okay. Wisdom save mm -hmm. with advantage is a 16. 16. That passes as you, uh, you kind of rip yourself away from this painting and, and shake your head as something seems to have 
tried to enter your mind. Um, uh, hey guys, uh, paintings do weird brain things. Okay. Um, burn them? No, we cannot just burn everything. Yeah, but it tried to attack you, right? Like, I, it's it's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just don't look at the paintings too hard. What if we burn them one by one? Oh my god! I can't take you anywhere. Hmm. Does anything in any of the paintings look familiar to me? Um, it looks familiar in the sense that it's clearly supposed to be the magical twilight forests of the Feywild, whatever realm they may be, but they're not exactly like specifically this location. At least from and what you can see from afar. How blase. Can I walk up to like the mirrors? Not like super close yet, just like closer to get a better look. All right. Would you say that you walk within 30 feet of it? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As you stare into, yes, yes I did. <laughs> as you stare oh, into Angie. this mirror, and um, you lock eyes with your reflection. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Oh, I suck at wisdom. Twelve. Real quick, is that my... wait? But, <laughs> oh, you didn't. Never mind. I was gonna say, does does like anything I'm wearing you. help me out with any of this stuff? Anything you're wearing? Yeah, like the one ring I have. <laughs> Let me check because I forgot about that, but <laughs> I have a sense that doesn't. Damn. Um, I was hoping like maybe just couldn't get in there and see nothing, you know? Just... Uh do 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 do. Where is and that's the way the cookie uh, crumbles. crumbles. <clears throat> it is it's actually a, a potato chip. Where is it? Oh, it's on the day. Um, and so the dark side sponsored by Bubbly. Nope, it doesn't. Damn, <laughs> I got so it. You, well. Okay, as you stare into this mirror, you are, you suddenly watch as you become, before your eyes, a child. You are in the woods, the gray leaves and the dark bark of the tree, of the trees around you, the cold you're walking. This is before you've met Chamomile. This is when, this is about the day that you were picked up by uh, the farmer and given over to the circus. But as you walk, you get this dreading sense in the pit of your stomach that no one's coming for you. You begin to wander the woods and a deep and immense sorrow begins to set in. Eventually, you begin to forget things about yourself. You forget about chamomile. You forget about the circus. You forget about the group that you're in. You're just that child walking through the woods, scared and alone. The rest of you watch as um, Lucky looks into the mirror and physically freezes. Nothing happens for about a minute before tears start coming out of his eyes and rolling down his face. Even chamomile is kind of like nudging you, but nothing's breaking you out of whatever this is. Whoa. Uh, whoa. Hey, bugle boy. Uh, mm -hmm. gonna start blasting his things. Wish I could cry on command. Any silver Mary Starler? Seven. Uh, there's seven. Sorry, I cut out for a second and couldn't hear any of you. Um, seven. Yes, there's seven mirrors. Seven? I need someone to pull out there and then I'm going to freaking fireball everything. Is is Arthur pulling him out of there? <laughs> it's so perfect. He just walked out. 
Oof. You're muted. I, I had to blow my nose literally like the second my <laughs> nose gets to tissue. He's like, oh, I'm going to launch a fucking fireball. Why is it every time that I stand up from this freaking... No, I need, I need, I need you and Jasmine to, to pull Lucky out of the way so I can fireball. Do we really need to um, fireball everything? Like, you don't want to burn I, the place around. I mean, I also feel like you don't want to be in his way if you want I, to. I will device, say so. that this, um, this foyer is made entirely of stone that can probably withstand a fireball blast. And how big is the area? I would You're say helping if is it's not helping. <laughs> twenty, if it's twenty feet, it's it's big enough that you wouldn't hit parts of the room if you blasted the mirrors. They're all within fireball range of each other, right? And he did say that Lucky came in thirty feet of the mirror. Yeah, so uh-huh. maybe he's outside of fireball range. <laughs> My the fireball range is twenty feet. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna say about like if we're going, I was gonna say I get about like ten feet away. So I thought that was far enough. But yeah, okay. we'll say you are standing ten feet away from the mirrors. Yeah, I figured it's a mirror. I can't talk. But I'm catatonic. <laughs> I'm gonna. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah you are okay, literally so... considered paralyzed until something. Well, so the so mirror that I he's guess, looking into. Uh, can I just walk past it? My little staff, okay. It's not a staff. Are you trying I mean, to blow it up? If I, I see will. him cast in fireball, I'm gonna i I'm gonna run, I'm gonna try to grab Lucky. Try why don't you grab him right now? And I'll blast it. Gra- grabbing. I'm running. Running All and right. grabbing. All right. Okay. You come within thirty feet of the mirrors. I'd like you to make a wisdom saving throw. <clears throat> With advantage. Because of intellect fortress, yes. Oh, it's that kind of thing. Mm. I can't. I can't. I rolled like poop shit. I got a 12. You want the same thing I did. (laughs) Oh, as you dash in, you lock eyes with one of your reflections. And for a moment, you think, this is okay, right? And then no. You watch it, you okay. stare you outward, that. and suddenly okay. you see your village aflame. Hang on, hang on. You cut it out. You cut it out. Oh, right no. After you, right after you said I no. The mirror. You said, you stare into your eyes, you think, this is fine, and then no, and just cut out, and it was perfect. I am no, no, so sorry. It. My it. internet, for some odd reason, is acting up tonight. Anyway, so... As you stare into the mirror, you become a little bit younger. Not that much younger. And then you smell smoke as the lighting changes. And your face is lit by firelight. And you are in the center of your village as it is aflame. And shambling corpses with familiar faces begin to shuffle towards you. And you, almost on autopilot, begin just swinging at them. You are fully aware of what you are doing. But the rest of you watch as Arthur dashes in, pauses, and then just stares, similar uh, to Lucky. Oh no, I can't just blast them. Well, I mean, this is entertaining at least. I'm just watching them start to cry. Yes, you actually do see Arthur begin crying as well. Oh, you'll love to see it, don't you? You know what? Do I cry pretty? <laughs> I will let you decide that. Mm. You know what? Starts pretty. <laughs> you know what? Arthur does yeah. not. <laughs> Derek, not Derek, Derek, darling, let me let me cherish this moment for a, just. A, I want to savor it for a second. The pain in the air. You can practically taste it. Okay, five minutes, and then I'll use my level six magic. Minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> We're I mean, talk. we're nothing, talk. Nothing, said Arthur. <laughs> yeah, we can't, we can't. <laughs> but the, internally, I'm just... You know, okay, it's five Mark's, seconds. Mark's just five. gonna distract everybody else so the two of them are trapped in the nightmare a little longer. Because that's the kind of fairy Lark is. He's oh my goodness. Like, I really have to give it to Rothbard. It's a brilliant little trap. But I guess... I, I, obviously, everyone else probably is going to pick up on Lark's just trying to like 
drag it out a little just so Arthur cries a little bit more. Yeah, um, Percy's definitely reprimanding the shit out of you right now. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, fine, fine. Oh, Beric, don't, don't, don't waste a spell on this. We can just do it with. I'm gonna Eldritch Blast. Right? Yeah, I can. Eldr- I can shoot three beams at three different mirrors in one casting. Yes. Yeah. So I'll shoot the mirrors. I'll shoot both of the mirrors they're looking at, and then just a third one. All right. Roll it. That was smart. But I don't have an <laughs> uh, Okay, so that's 24, 26, and 27 to hit. Yep, those hit. Yeah, I'm a... Yes, I'm very good at hitting things with Eldritch Blast. That's what we do. The blastiest of all the fairies. So the mirror lucky staring at is gonna take nine force damage. The mirror Arthur staring at is gonna take eight force damage. The third mirror is gonna also take eight force damage. All right. And they don't just break for over eight force damage. They're still there. Oddly, it specifies specifically uh, bludgeoning damage, which I find weird and only bludgeoning damage. But I'm going to say force as well. So they only have 10 hit points. They have oh, well, they only have vulnerability to bludgeoning damage, which I find bizarre that force damage is not included or thunder damage is not included. But we'll say for the purposes of this... Huh? And they are vulnerable to force damage, and you blast these three mirrors apart. Arthur and Lucky, you both are thrown out of your visions and are standing there, and there are three mirrors missing from this sort of gallery of mirrors. Okay, get the fuck out of there. Uh, Arthur probably just like wakes up with a start, like shouting. Don't look like, into another Miriam! one. Miriam! Miriam! Uh, where? Someone slap him. I don't think I'm lucky you probably like you wouldn't know I was out of a catatonic trance until you just see like me blink and just just, just blink quietly. And I just oh. look down. <laughs> uh I guess it uh I guess it got me too, huh? Yeah. That good my spell did to protect you. He's probably like fumbling in his bag, like, really wishing there was some whiskey, but I'm positive that he finished the last bottle he brought with him. I would not be surprised if you did. Without looking, with that, like, because I know the mirrors because I saw one, can I just cast Shatter to get all of them? Uh, Because sure. I'm pissed. Cool. Sure. Shatter. Well, he, he may. Oh, she may. Uh, it's a constitution saving throw, so I imagine they fail. Yeah. Also, I think it specifies <laughs> that, like, things made out of glass automatically fail. Yeah. I'm just gonna use a sh- Do I have- it's 3d8. Do I have to- I- I would roll say roll it or... just in case right. you roll, like, three ones. Thir- 13. Okay, That's yeah, at that point, all of the mirrors just- <laughs> Shatter just, from this as I thunderous. as I quietly blink, just <laughs> just explode everything around me. Whoa there, okay. Mm-hmm. At this point, um, okay. Remind me not to piss him off. It's even scary when he whispers. At this point, you begin to hear whispering from the paintings. It grows <laughs> louder and which. louder. And the pieces of the mirrors all pull themselves together into these beautiful elven suits of armor made of the pieces of the mirror floating around just the air. And they all have swords that they've drawn. And I need everyone- Oh, I've seen this one before. Let me skip ahead to the ending. (laughs) How many are there? There are uh, seven seven of- these okay. warrior figures. So there's just as many as mirrors that were. Nice. Yep, it seems like each mirror turned okay. into a warrior. Even oh, after God. I took after I took alert, I have been rolling dog shit. I got a 21. A 
The 21 ain't bad. 21 is all shit. No, 21 is great. It's fine. But when you have a plus 10 and advantage, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, Do you want... Who's going to roll for Percy and who's going to roll for Alex? I'll roll for... uh, I love the Alex. Jesus Christ, I couldn't talk. I'll roll Percy. Okay, but I, I I have his character sheet somewhere, but it's probably I have his character sheet pulled up it. too. Wait, um, what are we? What are we rolling for? We need to initiative. roll initiative. Initiative. Mark's what's initiative. Percy's, what's so lucky? Got a nine. Percy's dex. I got a nine. Why does he have a zero initiative? Because he probably doesn't have a dex modifier. Alex and sucks. Why is his Remember? HP total fifty five? Because Alex has know. really bad stats other than... I think he just has really bad stats. Probably. Uh, Percy has an 11. For an Percy incident. has an 11. Why I can't get Percy's sheet to open up. Um, Alex Alex has a 9. Alex has a 9 as well. Lark got a 10. 10 for Lark. <laughs> and Rarick. 14. 14. All right, so Arthur... You are first. Okay. Um, cool. So I'm gonna Zephyr strike um with my psychic blades, actually, is what we're gonna do. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Are the paintings not included in the things that we're fighting? You don't know. No, I didn't. Oh Jesus. <laughs> You're a dick. I am so sorry. I You're good. I I'm I, I can't help the internet. I, I think it's there's something in my area. Okay, so you Zephyr Strike. Did oh you get my that gosh. It's a good thing I had advantage. No, I didn't. It is good. Um <laughs> oh, hang on. you don't know if the paintings are included or not. Okay. So we don't know that the paintings made these things come back together with armor. Like, whoops okay i definitely did that wrong okay that's a 17 to hit with nope nope i'm sorry oh my god i rolled crypt pain that's not what i'm supposed to do i'm supposed to roll 5 10 okay 16 to hit for the first psychic blade attack mm-hmm um, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. I lied. I already Zephyr Strike, so I can't double. Because that's a bonus action. I lied. We're just, we're going to Zephyr Strike it with Crypt Bane. This is 17 to hit. Sorry. 17 hits. Okay. I'm assuming perfect. you're hitting one of the glasswork so. warriors. Yeah, we'll just go for the, we'll say the nearest one. So that is 15 piercing 2d6 fire, 2d6 sneak, 1d8 force. Thirty-two total. Thirty-two total. <clears throat> yes, and then I am going to um, do 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 do. Do you think with with sixty feet, can I get to another one that's other than the one I just attacked? I would say yes. Okay. Then I will dash, let's say, whichever one is towards my right um, okay. with the extra speed from Zephyr Strike. Mm-hmm. And They're kind um, of just standing I'm... where the mirrors kind yeah. of were. And, you know. So we'll just go off to the right and I will stow my bow. Um, and then we'll have Jasmine pounce the same one that I just fired on. Okay. And that will be a 16 to hit. That hits. Okay, so there is claws. Claws is a total of 13, and I need a strength saving throw, please. Uh, You're not going to get one, because as Jasmine swipes through the mirror shards, they shatter and go everywhere, as you have killed one of these glasswork warriors. Excellent. Well, that was sexy. All right. Is that the end of your turn? Who's next? All oh, right. So- Some kind of monster truck it's Monday. The trauma. 
was the trauma again, it was again, didn't it? It did, yes. Okay. All right. Okay, now you actually are freezing that. No? Really? Am I? Yeah, yes, you're actually, being... you're lagging like really hard. Like a tiny bit here and there for me. No. Uh oh. Yes. I may have to restart my internet in the break. Uh, okay. Fingers crossed it doesn't actually break. Um, <gasps> I got a message. My internet connection is now unstable. Oof. Okay. Oh. So, uh, oh, oh, oh my. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Um, so the, so I'm just going to roll them all at the same time because there's seven of them. Okay. Well, six Except of them. them. So one of them is going to charge you, Arthur, and it's going mm -hmm. to make two swings with its glass sword. Would that be like the one that square I'm sharing or like a different one? Um, I'm just trying to figure the out one if there are going to be two enemies. Okay, okay. The, run, the one that ran up to you. So the first one was a okay. seven, so that one for sure misses because it only has a plus for three. For sure. Yeah. Um, oh my god, and a five. These things are not very good at their jobs. Um, Apparently they are glass, so... And then... A glass cannon. It. Without the cannon. As it swipes with its sword... The pieces kind of separate a little bit and drag along through the air, almost like a whip a little bit. Um, mm. And it's very easy to dodge. But then it kind of almost leans back and catches a ray of moonlight that then blasts out in a cone with incredibly bright light. And I definitely need you to make a constitution saving throw, Arthur. Okie dokie. And I whiffed it. I got the three. You are blinded. <laughs> Excellent. Yep, okay. you are blinded. Um, so then, I'm going to say that all of them surge forward. One of them goes for you, Lucky. Um, and it takes two swipes at you. Uh... That's a, only a 10, and that's only a 10 as well, so it swings twice, and yes. then it also leans back, catching some of the moonlight in its armor and blasting a cone of light out from it. So constitution saving throw as well. Eighteen. You succeed. Um, yes. uh -huh. So then one is going to run to you, Rarick. Thirteen? Big mistake. What? Thirteen? Does that hit you? Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. So that's one yes. hit. And then uh, it rolled an 18. So that definitely hits. Um, right. So it if hits you twice. If it's like on 13 or my armor class is 13, is it if it's on 13 that it hits? Meter beat. Ah, oh, stupid ass. AC. Gotta meet it. So you take, you only take uh, six points of slashing damage, and it too is going to lean black. Lean back, catch some of the moonlight, and blast a oh, cone yeah. um, <clears throat> of light. Constitution saving throw, please. Hold on. 84. Constitution saving throw. Oh, what am I clicking at? Ooh. That was a nine. <laughs> Ooh, you are blinded. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Portent. I have You're my portent. nine portent, so if nine plus seven, it's 16. All right, then you are not blinded, but you use one of your portents. Yeah, I'm like, you thought, bitch. So that was three... Uh, and so there are three more. And I'm assuming Lark is up in the air. Yeah, can they fly? They cannot. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> you little fuck. Asshole. So it's going to... How how high up are you in the air? 15 or 20 feet. Okay. 
we're going to say 15 because then this thing can hit you as it charges forward. It stares up at you for a moment. And then it's armor. You see the pieces shift before <laughs> moonlight blasts out of them, out of it. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw as well. And they're next going to attack Alex and Percy. So if someone could have those ready. Uh, constitution, I'm proficient in, because I'm a sorcerer, so that is plus <laughs> 10, so 16. Yep, you succeed. The light momentarily hurts your eyes, but it does not. So now I'm going to do two against, let's just do Alex first. He only has like 10 AC. <laughs> yeah, well, he's rolled a 19. And oh. then, oh, it rolled a 17. So both of those are over 20. So I think that hits. Yeah. So that's, so that's 12 points of slashing damage. And then constitution saving throw is this glass work thing blasts Alex with its cone of moonlight. I froze again, didn't I? You have Alex? Yeah. Okay, you're back. You have Alex? Wait, do I have Alex? Am I supposed to have Alex? I yeah, have uh, I froze Fire again. Alex. You've got, got Percy. You've got Alex, you've got Percy. I'm what? Gone. All right, so Alex takes 12 points of slashing damage. Oh, God, he's died. He's dead? Ah! You know what? Wait, Alex One takes, you said... How many? 12 points of slashing damage. Thank you. And then constitution Thank saving throw, please. I can't. The Hang fact on, that you said to... their swords are glass, they're just like, er, it just hurts me. It's like, er, glass is not a nice slash. Not a clean Yeah. Thing. I gotta not sign clean. into my get infected. stupid thing. They cut pretty bad. Yeah, it's gonna get infected. That's really gonna get infected. You're gonna have to only because, like, little shards can get stuck in there. Peroxide? You know. What? <laughs> you cut off, like, halfway what you're saying. We... We're having all kinds of internet oh, trouble tonight. <laughs> oh my god. Internet is... Having a hard time with Alex's constitution score? It, no, <laughs> it's a fucking Adobe being stupid. Oh. Oh, Adobe Acrobat. Yeah, I was having that issue. I was issue. like, why did you pull this up in, <laughs> Illustrator? Like... Where's his constitution? Okay, plus one. Here we go. Where's my freaking d20? Oh, wait, I can just roll on one of mine real quick. It's a plus one. 18. All right. Oh, wow. Alex is safe. So now I'm going to go for Percy, who has a better AC and better constitution, I think. Hopefully, Cleric should. 13. Where are his hit points? And that one definitely misses. And then Constitution saving throw is this thing blasts Moonbeam a moonlight again. Oh, so yeah. I think, um, yeah, I think um, the glass work missed both times. Mm -hmm. Got a oh. 13 and definitely whiffed. Uh... Constitution, he has plus four, too. Oh, shit. He has plus four? If it's a constitution saving throw for Percy, it's only plus four. If I'm rolling it, I got a two plus four is six. Percy is now blinded. So he has three blind people, right? Yep. yep. Three <clears throat> blind mice. Three, three blind mice. mice. Oof. Ran down the clock or something. <laughs> All right, so that takes us to Rarick, who you can see. I can see. So I will say that the glass works. There we go. You're the back. internet cut out again, didn't it? I love it. I think, Rarick, I hate to do this, but I think you're going to take your turn, and then we're going to go on break while I fix my internet. Cool, because I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> All right, so you can see uh, there is basically a clockwork, not a clockwork, a glasswork in front of every person except for Lark, who his glasswork is standing under him looking up. Okay, I'll just do a quick firebolt 
on the one right in front of me. It is a ranged spell attack, so you will have disadvantage. What does that mean? Do you have like a melee spell? And, like Yeah, do you have a melee spell? Just like shocking grasp or like I mean you could back up, but then you might take an attack of opportunity. Um, I can like use a breath weapon on it. Oh sure, you can. Yeah, you haven't sure. breath weaponed in a while. Wow. Ah. You know what, I'm going to say that if you walk around it a little bit, you can aim it so that you can hit one other glasswork. I'm going to say the glasswork in front of Percy. You can hit it if you move around it and aim just right. You can hit both of them, but none of the other ones. The deck, the constitution saving, constitution save is nine. What? What What am I fucking doing? I think I roll the constitution saving throw. So I have to roll it twice because you can hit two of the glass works. But, okay. Shit. Um, it doesn't have any constitution, surprisingly. So that's a 14. And that one fails. Um, yeah. My damage so what's is... Your, what's damage your DC? It's nine. Only nine? Mm-hmm. Wow. Nine? No, that does not sound right. It's gotta be plus something, Brad. Because it's, it? it's at least eight plus your proficiency bonus. Yeah, it's eight plus minimum. your proficiency plus your constitution. It's like a saving throw for a spell, yeah. just with a different stat instead of your intelligence. What am I so looking? It's, eight it's plus 16. constitution modifier plus proficiency bonus, so eight plus four plus 16. whatever your constitution is. It's sixteen. Mm-hmm. 16. I remember you having a constitution modifier of four because remember when I was looking at your character sheet last week, I was like, why the fuck is your HP so high? And you should uh, roll 4d6 to 4d6 is the damage. The internet is so bad. Yeah, that was, okay. that was like... Oh, roll. So, would anybody, while we're having fuckery anyway, be super butthurt if we, like, called it after this battle, given all the internet stuff? And also, I am... Oh, That's hey, what I am proposing. You, you know what? Of At that? this point, yes. Um, okay. I, I only heard we should call it for the night because of all the internet fuckery. You know what I'm going to say? Because I have all this currently recorded. Um, yeah. Of course, I, I have to. Because so and I know when you kill a monster, let's finish Rarick's turn and just call yeah. it for the night because something is going yeah. on with my internet. Yeah, okay. yeah, and that's starting around. to freeze a little bit more too. So like, I'm what? like, yeah. it's just going to cascade from here. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, no. podcast listeners. Next episode, yeah, will be right. Better. We're going to have to leave you. <laughs> episode with eighty, all. episode eighty four. Technical difficulties. Can we 80, just eighty three point five. Yeah. Let me just cut it on here because I am confused with my breath. Roll four d six because both of them failed. <laughs> yeah. Four yeah. Roll four d six uh, of fire damage. Yes. Your gold dragonborn. I got. Arr, a, I, got a, I got a. T- oh. I got a five first. Okay. And a five. Mm-hmm. No, that's that's the four d six. That's what I got. That's the 4D6. You rolled 4D6 by total. You that got is... like a 1, a 1, a 1, a 2? Yeah, you is... can see it. It's on the thing. Game log. That's like one of the trashiest rolls you can get for an AoE. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, God. No, you rolled a... You got 12. Yeah, but that's me fumbling around. The first roll I got was 5. And I was like, what the fuck oh. is everyone talking about? And then I no, accidentally right. clicked it again. Oh, God. Right. That is, he that's did just... roll five. He did roll five. You just coughed fire at them. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't done it in a while. In all, in all fairness, apparently you haven't done it in a while. I, have I haven't let him set things on fire recently, so that's the problem. I will say these things are made out of glass, so they're not as flammable. Well, they don't have any resistances to fire damage. I will give you that, but... It, they're made of glass, so they're not going to catch fire. Um, <laughs> so now that that turn has indeed ended, regrettably, <laughs> we are going to have to cut this short because multiple people's internets are having a cow. So we will see you all next week. 
with episode 35, I believe. 35? Not 35. 85? 85. Uh, 85. You can tell we're having a time here. Welcome to the podcast. We're so professional. <laughs> Yay! Um, so join us. You might, you know what? Oh, I might amazing. even just release the like next episode. TikTok. I might just release the next episode on the same day because. And just smoosh it. Just smoosh it. Yeah. Just release the He's two episodes frozen. in the same day and just go, just watch them both. It's fine. Yep. So yeah, join yep. us in literally now for the next episode where hopefully there will not be so many technical bugbears goodbye <laughs>